Hello my friends, it's Nightmare Mode, it's episode 31, and uh, my monitor died. Yup, <laughs> not the best. Now, I knew it was dying. I had an old monitor which I was using for recording, and um, I was hoping that it would last until I left the country. But it upped and died on me yesterday. So, um, <clears throat> unfortunately I have had to unpack my new monitor and use that instead. Now, uh, unfortunately, the setup was such that I was um, planning on having effectively a completely different computer when I um, got to Norway. <clears throat> so, my uh, old computer is going to struggle to um, to run two 4K monitors. <laughs> so I've toned down the resolution a bit on it. Down to uh, down to 2K, and the frame rate seems to be reasonable enough. But uh, if there's a slight frame rate dip from now on, well, that's why. And until I get to Norway, it's not going to be fixed. So uh, yeah, we're stuck with it. Right, and on that note, let's crack on. We're trying to get ourselves some salvage. Goodbye, Blackjack. <clears throat> I'll rebuild this Blackjack at some point. I've been meaning to rebuild it for a long time now. Now, the only thing about it is it's the... It's my only mech with the... Uh, with the narc bacon. So, I'll have to get it rebuilt ASAP. <clears throat> I've, been me I've been meaning to rebuild it for a long time, but I've just not had the lab time or the opportunity to do it, so. If I don't take too much damage on this mission, I can uh, get it in the lab and get to work. Will be the shield that blocks the tip of the spear, my boy. Tip of the spear. You are the tip of the spear. Oh, yes. <laughs> Command interface initiated. My life is just a series of making references to video games that no one's ever played. Alright. We'll Let's rumble. Do you know what, if anything, the game feels a bit smoother with the new monitor. It's a weird thing to say. One thing is, both the monitors are identical now. And they're on identical resolutions. So that may be a factor. I want to go... That way. No, that way. Hmm. Well, I don't want a straight up fight, because I don't do straight up fights. Oh, that's interesting. That little, little building outcrop. Right, I'm, I'm violating the 15 second turn rule now. here. <clears throat> Time to earn our money. Although I usually don't apply it to, um, Scanning the map. Affirmative. <clears throat> All right. That's good. Order. You're buying me time to get into the uncanny valley of doom. Um, hmm. I'm <clears throat> just thinking. So 
So I've got two choices here, really. I either cut up left, try and take this guy, and push up, obtaining this defensive position. Or I cut right, and try and obtain this high ground position. Either way, I'm going through somebody. I hear ya! Isn't it nice to actually have some jump jets? Let's go with this. <clears throat> okay, well I guess that makes that decision, doesn't it? here and kill this guy. Waiting for orders. The high ground is infested. Sprinting. At the end of the day, while the high ground is nice because it gives an accuracy bonus, <clears throat> it's more important to do your LOS blocking. So, if you have to dive into a ditch to block LOS, then that's fine. These guys will not have a shot until they actually get a lot closer than they are. See the way that this terrain is. Oh, he's got a shot on this guy though. <laughs> That's okay. Heads up, got contact Enemy reinforcements behind the hill. I feel like I'm trapped in a tiny box, this map. <clears throat> Still, the Vindicator has got excellent defense, so it can indirectly lob missiles at it all day long. The odds of a good hit are pretty low. Oh, he's running up to join his buddies, it looks like. <laughs> you got nothing. Oh, it's a hit. Light damage, Commander. Snub nose PPC. Good to go. Hmm, 44% if I take the optimal shot. If I obtain the superior defensive position, which is here, 26%. Uh, I'll go here just to be front towards enemy. Come on. Nice. Target is tagged. Once this locust dies, the centurion, no one will have uh, line of sight on it, so. Receiving you. I believe I am I copy. too low to hit there. Hopefully. Targeting Get him. An alpha strike. Nice. Nice. Scored a critical hit. Yeah. 
yeah, more indirect fire. <clears throat> Take the Locust out. This blocks LOS on the Centurion. Should also block LOS on the Hunchback. <clears throat> Waiting on you, Commander. I can continue to run my Vindicator around, being like, "Pay attention to me." Moving fast. And work this valley as my LOS blocker. I see that you are still with us, Mr. Locust. What can I do for you? I see how jump shots like these days. Hmm. Not good. That's not bad. Ah, oh, slightly too close. However... Alright, that's fine. To the metal. Get him. God damn it, he survived. I don't know how he survived, but he survived. Still, we're all in the ditch now, so, uh. Only the Centurion is vulnerable. And at least he's facing the right way now. <clears throat> oh, yep, they're shooting at the Centurion. This is fine. This they are they are pretty much LOS blocked. Ironically, this locust is doing exactly what you would expect a locust to do. Which is to uh, provide line of sight <laughs> and be an absolute pain in the ass. Ready for orders. Your days of providing line of sight to your buddies are about to end. God damn it, I do not have a clean shot. Acknowledged. Alright, I better make sure I get him. No, none of you have got a clean shot. The AI has chosen its positioning well for once. Sixteen percent. Go. Take this. Nice, nice. Okay, there goes his evasion. I hear ya. So far, so good. The AI is not really capitalizing on its superior position right now, so. 
Hmm, I would actually have side shots on a lot of these guys. That'll do. This is totally the wrong side, but whatever. Oof. Oof. Want some more, huh? Those missiles definitely found something. Standing by. If only I had a vigilance, I could just run in there with vigilance and then run straight back out. Right, I'm just gonna move here because I need this guy dead. Actually, what is the difference if I sprint? Pretty big. All right, let's um, kill the pulse. If I hit him here and take out his weapon systems, then he might eject. So, because I haven't got enough firepower to take out the CT. There we go. He's gone. He's gone. <clears throat> as soon as I took out his weapons, he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm out of here." <laughs> Fair enough, really. I mean. All the previous Mech Commander games, pilots without any weapons were almost certainly eject. An Irby! It's like a rare animal. Not in Rogue Tech, you see them all the time, but in the original game they weren't, they didn't spawn, so uh... <clears throat> Basically, they were trying to cover up the fact that uh, the AI does not have any group group logic. Waiting for orders. So the AI would just kind of uh, run at you, and because it kind of just run at you, the poor Irby, with its awful awful speed, would just get left behind somewhere. I need you to come closer, my friend, closer, so I can hit you with my sword. That's all wall, isn't it? Can't get up there. In order to get up here, I would have to actually cut down here and go up here, and that's just not going to happen, so... Okay. All right, I've decided. Location confirmed. Location confirmed. Sending Rocket. supplies. I didn't realize those SRM launchers were so, uh, they run so hot. Tell me what to shoot. Nice. <coughs> we 
We're just going to conserve heat here. Until the enemy is a little bit closer. That looked like a direct shot to me. What can I do for you? adopt a position where I can jump up there in a minute. Ten percent. You know, that's not actually... For an indirect shot, ten percent is not bad. It kind of means that if I had a direct shot, it would be about sixty percent or fifty percent, which is pretty good. No shooting. Okay, get ready to jump in. Jump into this forest behind this mountain and start shooting people in the back and side. Ready for orders. It's a little bit of a tight angle. Okay, just wait here. Wait On the here. Move. Full speed. Firing. I want them to come a little Morning. bit closer before I start alphaing into them. Really? damage commander nothing to see here hmm <clears throat> interesting okay that's indirect so that's not gonna really do much is that that almost looks like a way up AC-10, okay, that's never going to hit. They're both AC-10s. Auto cannons are bad. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm like, ah, uh, you know, I'm like looking, looking under. <laughs> I hear you. I think one day video games will be so good that you'll actually be able to move your head around to uh, look under terrain and stuff. Yeah, look, this, this is actually a way up. And it serves as a great LOS blocker. These lot can't hit. I'll take it. Right, Commander. All weapons are go. Good hits. Oh, really good hits. That is like the most awkward angle to try and hit someone with missiles. What's up, Bach? Finish him. Seven HP in the side. Make it happen. Oh no. What a shame. Only one hit the side. Pretty much every missile hit though, so uh Mission failed. We'll get them next time. I'm actually very tempted to just finish the job on this guy.
Eh. 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 That's what I think of that shot. Eh, it's kind of what I think of that angle. The Gulag Panther. I'm actually not that bothered about that. Let's conserve heat for now. He's taking the shot. Because I'm not entirely happy with the angle. Good to go. All right. We'll park here because this is like LOS. In fact, no, we won't. Park here. <clears throat> uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm just buying time right now. If I'd have killed that jeep on the hill, then uh, things would have worked out a little bit more neatly. Special delivery. And now he's gonna run away. God damn it! These Erbies are nearly in position. Their support team are a big fan of missiles, I see. That they cannot land. I mean, I'm glad though, because if you imagine even an LRM-10 that hit every time would be a massive problem for me. Minor damage. Yes, that's right. Now you're now you're in trouble. You don't even know how much trouble you're in. I wonder where the rest of the enemy is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Never mind, they're all here. Commander. Hey, buddy. Catch. Oh, he's only got three HP. I think a couple of choice SRMs should see this uh, this machine gun ammo at least will explode. Yes, Commander. Oh, Waiting on you, no. Commander. Nope. Nope. I hear ya. Here we go. Fire up my boom box and say, listen to this. Get him. Got it. Oof. Another hit like that and you're toast. <clears throat> Wasn't quite the hits I was looking for. What's up, Chief? Understood. Moving fast. Okay. Get him. Affirmative. Nice. Nice. Fatality. 
Tango down. What can I do for Goodbye, you? Bye, urban trash. Oh man, so many delicious options. Let's do it. Surprise attack! Conserve my missiles. Because this guy only needs like one shot in about four different places. Actually, probably conserving my missiles is a bad idea. But I will conserve my heat, at least. Goodbye! I feel bad about shooting the little guy. Well, don't. This go just goes to show how you can control LOS even on the low ground and even if it's not necessarily like a great a great map or a great area this whole time I've been controlling what the enemy sees and thus what they can shoot at I hear ya Do you know what? Take your turns. I actually couldn't care less. Wow, you actually hit me. Can't believe you hit me, sex machine. Okay, not sure where those missiles were going. Standing by. All right, if we can tag him. Firing all wow, that was almost every missile hit there. <laughs> it's like Neo from the Matrix. All these missiles coming at him, and he's just like. <laughs> You, Commander. What's the health on that? Hmm. Something interesting here, look. I know that this guy's facing the wrong way. Shall we run up there and have a look? So we have a striker. Drillson Hover Tank. Okay, that's nothing exciting. A Hunter. And our Gulag Panther. If I medium laser this guy in the side, I might kill him. Same could be said for the Hunter. However, this move conserves heat and adds attack. Got it. Nice. You can't win. I have the high ground that blocks the LOS. Ha 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 ha. That's not a clean shot for him. A lot of people, like, they take their turns, so they, I'm watching them play, and this goes for famous, well, quote-unquote famous, as, as much as any of us are famous, 
you know, other streamers, other YouTubers, etc. It's not just novices that make this mistake. Every position I take is calculated to block LOS or to uh, otherwise obstruct clean return shots. Like this was this this move here was not of any real risk to me because from where these guys are, this is actually an obstructed shot. But it's very hard to tell at times that that is true. But you just get a feel for it after a while. Unfortunately, there's no tool. I would love to have a tool so I could show people, um, you know, a tool that sort of says, like, you know, if an enemy was here, what would their shots be or whatever, so that I could showcase positioning. But unfortunately, such a tool does not exist. Okay, so the Erby is actually really the only big threat. And I'll use that term loosely. Okay, that's a bad shot. That's the wrong side. So we shall carry on. De-urbanizing. Copy that. Oh, nice. Target's taking a critical hit. Waiting on you, Commander. <clears throat> I'm getting close so that I can actually run in there. So I will shortly want to uh, start meleeing these vehicles if I can. This will be a heat conserving shot. Here we go. Ah. For a whole lot of uh, 50-50s, I only got one there. It's not bad. I mean, that is bad, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> okay, that was a clean shot that he got there. Damage is minor. I'm in the forest though, so it's not too bad. I should be within melee range. What on earth? I guess he's concerned about the missile boat. But it's not really going to help you. <laughs> what can I do for you? back to here. Finish him. Right, Commander. Fatality. Knocked out a vehicle. I believe most of these enemies now have not got a shot. This uh gulag panther. This is like a clan variant, isn't it? Or is it? Nah, it just looks like just looks like any any old stock panther. It's not heavily armored, but I'm not I'm not in a position to get good work done. Commander. Uh, I'm just not quite just not quite close enough. How unfortunate. On it. See if I can lure them closer while I carry on demolishing this guy. Got the angle, taking the shot. Get him. Good to go. That'll do.
Did I not? I'm not sure what I hit when I shot him in the back then. Only one of my shots actually hit him in the back. Full alpha, go! Nice. Nice. You're still with us, I see. What's up, boss? This should make him eject. Here it comes. He'll have no weapons. No, he's gonna die. Because he'll probably fall over. And if he falls over, he's dead. Shot that he didn't eject, though. That's a miss. 40 minutes? Jesus, it's like a full episode just to do one mission in this. <laughs> I hope you guys at least are entertained by... Uh, These protracted battles. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's go. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. ATM nine and tag. That is a rear rock. Two hits in the back, and he would die. Do I want him to die? So I'm on a full salvage. Do I want to salvage the panther or the Irby? That is the question. Oh well, whatever. For now. Tell me what to shoot. Just try and soften up this vehicle a little bit. He's disarmed anyway, so... <clears throat> Vehicles cannot. They just cannot. Receiving you. All right. 20 missiles. Eject. Please. 40 damage for one rack if every shot hit. Got it. Come on. There we go. Not even sure why you were still Good to go. still with us to be brutally fair. Punch him in the side. Confirmed. Targeting for physical attack. Ooh. That hit something good. Just reached in and grabbed his arm and just pulled it off. <laughs> Guy that. must have been like, oh, I guess I don't have an arm now. That was kind of a shield arm anyway, so. Let's go here. Front towards vehicles. Three medium lasers, not actually enough to take that off. That'll do. Uh -huh.
He passed. He passed his stability checks. Now what's he going to do? Run. Ha! I actually took a hit there. I hear you. 55 times 2, that's plenty. I read you, Commander. Moving out. This is gonna be good. Step on him. There we go. <clears throat> and after the enemy was destroyed, he uh he tagged the body. If you know what I mean. damage on that hit. Waiting for orders. Stormtrooper Academy. On my way. All right, go. Orders. Hmm, that's funny. That seems to be a clean side shot, but my chance to hit is awful. I guess it's the distance. Let's get the missile boat closer to the action. Leave the panther alone for a minute. While we just take this vehicle down. Just because I want to capture the panther as well, just to fill that salvage table. Since I took out the locust and all of its weapons, one of the hunch uh, one of the Erbies and all of its weapons. The only thing that's actually in the loot table right now is the um the one Erby that was forced to eject. Roger, full speed. Get him! Nearly. Jesus, this last turn, they've actually done quite a bit of damage. Nice try. Good to go. I mean, nothing serious, but you know. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Oh, damn it, I'm aiming at the wrong side now. Oh well. Kill it. Okay, now, I do like panthers in that they are quite easy to disarm. What can I do for you? And this guy has been so kind as to offer up a perfect shot on his arm. Don't need to tell me twice. Which we are going to take. This should be good. Just like that. There's more where that came from. Okay, so now he's got no weapons. Apart from his SRM4. Which we will not be writing home about that. Aye, aye. How dare you. Solid connection on that one. Wow, he passed his stability check again. They're getting the angle on me. How dare you keep passing these stability checks? On the move. 
Let's see it past this one. Target acquired. All right, one HP. Now the question is, how do I get the last HP without turning him into source? Receiving you. Into HP source. Moving out. Sixty. Seventy. Hmm. Okay, so we'll go for this leg. Hopefully, get this torso piece. Going for the leg gives me the least chance of hitting CT. My flamer is empty. I hear you. <clears throat> All right, sweet. None of that hit CT, so that's good. Moving out. Nice. All right, perfect. He's set up. Now we just need him to get up. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh huh. So basically, when he gets up, his legs are severely damaged. One's only got four HP. Fire some missiles at him. Hopefully, clip the leg. And he'll fall over, and then he'll be dead. And the capture will be complete. Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. So this missile rack's maximum damage output is 40, but the CT has got 48 HP, so he should be all right. Unless I trigger those missiles and they explode, that's a possibility. Let's go with the LRM-15. It's actually got a lot less chance to hit. So it should do less damage. He's gone! Woohoo! That wasn't bad, right? That wasn't bad. Some minor armor damage. Oh, the locust actually, I actually captured it. I thought it just got blown to bits. So that's three vehicles. Uh, sorry, three mechs that got captured. Didn't really want to capture the locust because it's just, you know, look at all this junk. MGs and SRM2s, ugh. Money, money. It's not even worth money. I do like vehicle flamers because vehicle flamers, while strictly speaking being inferior to mech flamers, they, they use ammo. And they don't really generate heat. They're good for bad pilots. All right, well, we'll take two pieces of gulag and hope that we get the last piece. Nice, we got at least one piece, that's good. We picked up one of the vehicle flamers. Oh, we picked up all the good missile launchers. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay. I suppose that was, uh, that was as much as you could ask for, considering the uh, amount of trashy vehicles that were fielded. Okay. A 
should have bought myself some lap time there. Fifty-two grand for the repairs. Probably most of that was that hunchback on that last turn. Um, are we going to want to switch planets? If I remember correctly, both of these missions were like particularly dangerous. I risk? Should I take the risk? Might be nice to have another spare pilot as well. Although now I have an honest pilot. Um, yeah, I'll leave that one actually. Now I have an honest uh, Mech Warrior. I'm not so concerned about getting rid of the criminal ones. And they're not that expensive anyway. Not anymore. Okay, let's get rid of. Let's have a look at the state of this thing. Okay, well it kept its engine, so it is repairable. How much to repair it? A lot. How many jump jets? Five? Eh. It doesn't even make a good scout. Nope. Alright, let's get some refitting done. Now, one thing I will do is this engine is the exact same one as the damaged one that I just acquired. Which is this one? No. No? I thought they were damaged. Because when you scrap a mech, all the uh, damaged components you get. I was going to say, I'll pop the damaged one in and repair it. These ones are damaged. Whoa, that's a weird bug. So if I keep. Yeah, look. The damaged ones, if I keep using them, every one of them comes out damaged. Isn't that weird? That's a weird bug. I'll report that as a weird bug. So these 
Okay, so what happens if I fit all the fixed ones? So when I start getting into the damaged ones, do they still come out damaged? They do. Okay, so... There's no way to exploit it. Are they all fixed now? No, they're all damaged. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> that's a nasty bug. Alright, cool. The issue was resolved. The two damaged ones are still damaged. Now they're all fixed. Now they're all fixed. <laughs> you can you can repair stuff. I presume that if I then confirmed that they would be repaired. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that cuz I'm not I'm not into exploiting, but that's uh that's a funny bug. But you would have to confirm a build. Alright, let's get to work. Okay, we have 10 tons to work with. What have we got in the way of targeting computers? Uh, we don't really have anything in the way of targeting computers. So, since we have nothing in the way of targeting computers, we're going to need to stick with stuff that has high base accuracy. Which is not that. Or that. Without a targeting computer, the Gauss and the uh, Ultra AC5 are not going to get anything done. Except against targets that are already on their ass. So, it's lasers it is. Large extended range clan lasers. 60 damage a shot. 120 total. Quite a big delta they've got on them. Laser medium heavy clan. One ton, 50 damage, Jesus. I've only got one of them though. You know what? I'm alright with this. This is actually a massive improvement in firepower, if both hit, and they should. Plus one accuracy data, yeah, okay. Some flamers for some close-in work, gives me some options. She's going to run a little hot, but that's okay. In fact, hmm.
Yeah, I think that's okay. It's gonna run a little hot, but it's got no ammo in it, so it's not about to explode. And the flamers will only be used when I get close in. 35 heat apiece. Basically means that I can fire one and cool down, or fire both and heat up. And I also have some very nasty alpha striking capability when I really desperately need it. I could remove the narc beacon and shove a load of heat sinks in. But uh, accuracy is important. And on cooldown turns, things like tags and narc beacons are the kind of things that you shoot when you're cooling down. I'll let you know when that's done. All right. Everything will be repaired in six days. Right. Fifty days. Fifty days. You know what? Let's do that assassinate. Whatever. We'll attempt it next time. Two and a half skull. It's risky. But why not? Ah, salvage is awful though. <laughs> I say that and then I look at the salvage for it and I think, eh. Eh. Hmm. <clears throat> this looks like it would be great salvage, but uh, it's three skull. I'll tell you what, I'll look up this mission and if it's awful. I've done this one before, I'm pretty sure I've done this one before. I'm pretty sure that it's full armor. It's one lance and it's full armor. I might. Uh, I could handle it. So the worst that. I, the worst that could happen is I withdraw. And I go through like a month of traction repairing everything. Uh, yeah, okay. That's what we're going to do next time. No guts, no glory. Come on, boys, get those repairs done. That took way longer than I expected. Got the financial report. Okay. Whatever. We're going to do that hot. We're going to do that three skull battle. It's risky, but hey, that's entertainment, right? We'll do this one. I'm just I'm not really thinking that this one is worth the risk. It might be worth doing for sea bills. But I mean, you know, imagine there's like a load of heavies there. Okay. And I and I and I wipe them out. The best I can do is get guarantee two pieces of a heavy mech. And that doesn't excite me. Whereas this potentially guarantees me four pieces of a uh, of a medium of some description. So I think this one's worth the risk. And then we'll switch planets. Plus it would just be more entertaining for me to do something difficult. That's the worst that could happen is I could lose. <laughs> and then everyone will go on Reddit and be like, Edmund lost! Oh my god, you should have watched the episode where he got his ass kicked. I'm sure you guys aren't like that. And on that note, I'll see you next time. <laughs>